1992, we start out with a with a GF 1800 as as a max. It used to be max landscaping and maintenance. 2003 ish or so as we started progressing you know with construction stuff I could see that you know the the landscape mowing part the lighter stuff I was more into the the heavier stuff so dirt dirt yeah got my septic license and uh, um, you know we were we were had really started heavy dirt by then and uh, so I sold that changed the name to max trucking and excavation and then since then we just piece or two or three at a time and yeah. as that happens we kind of go with what what we need to keep the doors open right and it's worked out pretty well well it's fun for our end because we never know what you're going to call for yeah. sometimes it's a miniature excavator to do some drainage ditch in need to update that and then other days it's your tag along eager, eager beaver trail right so i yep. mean for us that's exciting to help support uh, not only just a local guy grow but somebody that started with us from the ground up. We decided diversification is just something that we've built our company on. Yeah, not, you know, you, not just not work. just one thing. You know, we've you know built different different aspects with the compost manure and 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 you know the gravel pit pickup. You know. Um, seven years ago, eight years ago, when we bought the gravel pit, you know, and that's helped stretch our legs too with with other things that we've been doing and with all the different choices of equipment, you know, you can you can do pretty much what you need to. Having your own pit that helps you take care of your customers too. If you're short on material or need to process your own, right? Yes, we process our own topsoil down there and our own compost. We have a screening plant, and uh, so yeah, that that's helped a, a great deal with how we've built, for sure. In uh, 2012, um, early 2012, I had a, a ASV uh, skid steer, and uh, we, on a Saturday morning, we put the, we were doing a pool pad in Lebanon, I'll never forget it, we backed off the trailer and one of the, the hubs in the back, the gears all came apart, so we pushed it back on the trailer with a machine, called Town Line, went over, and uh, they had a, a brand new SVL 90 in the in the yard, and uh, so Drew said, "Go ahead and take this. We'll get this worked out." And uh, so I did, and that was it. I never, never. I just traded it right yeah. there, um, and went with it, and wanted to try new Kubota. That was when the Kubota skid steers were really starting out. So, and that was that was got, got, got us on the Kubota skid steers from there. Being in business for, for 26 years has, has been a, a real plus, having someone that, that has the experience, you know, the, the parts guys and, and the knowledge over there of equipment at Townline um, to, to kind of help us guide through some things um, with equipment purchases. And this is the newest stuff out. And as, as they've grown, you know, we've grown with them on, you know, on the, any, any like the new, the updated equipment, you know, the, the attachments, especially the attachments, you know, the grinders on the new excavators, the right, brush cutters. Yeah, and you know, and as is more, there's more call for certain, you know, if we think we want to dabble in it a little bit, right. then, then, you know, we can, we can go over there and we can get, it's nice to, it's nice that Townline is able to keep up with the, the equipment demand, you know, yeah. as, as we progress and change our, our scope of work, you know, they've, they've been really helpful. I mean, again and again, you know, it's just, it's been, it's been that way for me the whole time since 1992 for, for our company. 